Alrighty YouTube, today we're going to be fitting a reversing camera uh, to the old Sylvia here um, on this car. So I do this for a living, I do reverse cameras, so I'll give you a little insider on how to do it. Um, so just above the number plate here is where we're going to fit the camera on this car. Obviously reverse lights are just there, so that's that. Up front I've already got a, a touch screen doubled in head unit, so we've already got somewhere to input it. Right now, we're going to pull out the boot, um, carpet, find ourselves a grommet, something like that, hopefully. Um, I have not done one on a Sylvia, so bear with me, but um, we're going to pull it out, and I'll just give you a little step-by-step -step on how easy it is to put a reverse camera in your car. camera I'll be fitting today, I've just got a simple RCA that has a trigger wire built into it. That's the little harness uh, for the actual camera itself and there's the actual camera so simple little butterfly style sticks up these are good because you can angle them pretty well and um, they're pretty fail proof I've done a lot of these and they last pretty well just below the number plate um, if we look past and into there there's actually a rubber grommet as you can see uh, in the back in the back here now if we come up into the boot in the Sylvia that is that rubber grommet just there. So pretty easy spot for a camera cable to run straight through. So we'll run the camera cable up into there. Um, our main harness will be able to hide up inside the light here. And here's the tiny little snip I've put on this. And as you can see it's really small. And that's going to be enough to just poke this camera head through. Alrighty, there's our camera just mounted there on the underside. With two stainless screws and the actual cable that runs back inside. I have put conduit cable on which looks like that as you can see and that's literally running about five inches back into that rubber grommet. We have the car in reverse this is a test light and a snap on one but any test light will do. Uh, you can use a multimeter but it's probably easy with a test light so that's just hooked up to earth. Now we come on the inside of the car here anyway turn it around now there's the rear back tail light so the actual reverse lights over here, the wiring comes out here, and all we do is probe the wires until we find the one that lights up. That one lights up. In this case, it's a green with a white trace. That's our reverse wire. All right, now the thing I can't stress enough, if you want to make the install look like a professional install, is making your cables neat. So that's the cable running up. I bundled it up. That's the excess from the actual camera lead and the excess from my little harness here. Now that'll be zip tied just here with the factory loom behind. Now when it comes to our powers, so we've got earth and power, the power wire will be running to here. I'm going to cut to this length, then solder it on. The other wire, an earth wire, I'll be strapping just to there. We've already got a factory earth. And same deal, I'm going to cut it to length, put the ring terminal on it and mount it. Now see, some people you'll see use the whole wire length and then they've got it all shoved in the back there. And that just, I mean, it's still going to work, it's just going to look bad. Let's solder our wires on. So the two wires that we've soldered on there are the red wire from this harness, which is a little camera's harness, and the red wire that is in the RCA harness that will be running up to the front. Because so obviously we need a way to let the head unit know to turn on. Now, one thing I've got to stress is tape your RCAs together. Um, this is a moving vehicle that vibrates, not your TV. Alright, now we always want to leave things looking as good or better than they were. Now that's the driver's side, which I didn't touch, and that's how it looks from factory. And here's the side I've worked on and added a camera to. So as you can see, it's as neat or neater, and that's with an entire reverse camera wired up. Alright, now for the biggest tip. Go to Bunnings, spend $3 on this. It's like an electrician's um, tool for feeding wires, which is exactly what we're doing. Now in the top right corner, or left corner, sorry, in this car, but in most cars, there will be a hole. Now, get it up there. Let's see it up here. There is a hole just there, as you can see. And that hole, most cars will have that to run the factory cables. Now, I've literally pushed that through. And if we come around to here, here's the other end of it. All I had to do was pop a few clips down the side panels. And being a coupe, that is literally coming right down over the wheel arch, that's what we've got on the other side, 
and down perfectly here into the car. Now that's a lot easier than trying to run a cable around the seats. Uh, just sticky tape the RCA head on. Remember, we're just going to feed it through that hole. Alright, so now that our cable's through, I've clicked this back together, ran our RCA cable through the floor, um, so underneath this factory trim. Then I've run it up under here, and as you can see, we're up to this stage. Now, what I'm going to do is drop the glove box out, run it behind the glove box, and by behind, I mean behind the bit you can't see, um, with the other factory cables that will be bound to be behind there, and then up to the unit. So um, what I'll do, I'm not going to show you as much as far as the unit goes because every car is going to vary so we're just going to pull this head unit out and fit the cables into it but I will show you the final product. And there is the finished uh, camera in there, I haven't put the dash pad together yet but I'm just testing it. So nice clear picture on the camera, um, it's running through I think this is a Kenwood unit. Um, and now what I will show you is, is, see the guidelines which are on the screen there. Show you how I've adjusted those. So now I've got a drill sitting here, which is about one foot away from the back of the car. So what I've done in this case is I've set it up so the top of that drill is sitting bang on the yellow line on the camera. So pretty much any as soon as you're in that red zone on those guidelines, you're in the one foot danger zone. So again, it's my girlfriend's car, so all I have set it up is so I'm giving her a good foot before uh, anything happens. So anyway guys, that is installing a reverse camera on a Sylvia. I'm going to take it out of reverse because that beeping is annoying. Okay, we'll uh, click the dash panel back in and then we're all done for today. Uh, I think that took me about an hour by the way, uh, and that's including while filming. So it's not too long a job to do. Um, normally takes me about half an hour if I'm not filming. But anyway, that's that. Um, Stay tuned for more, we're going to do a new build in this car soon. So while I've got the uh, box out, it's the current one in there, it's that T-Line 8. Uh, I'm going to be measuring up today and uh, working out the build size.